Right, we just want also to drop in our panelists who are already here so that we can take us through the stories of the day, looking at what is happening in Ethiopia, Congo right now, and of course uh, in South Africa. But beginning here at home as well, this is what is headlining the front page of the Daily Nation today. A uh, new circle of power, we ran that story for you uh, comprehensively by Sheila Sendeo. And this is how it looks, Gidamu Gai, a Kibaki appointee, finally paves the way for Uhuru loyalists. Right, so the loyals are surrounding Uhuru Kenyatta as depicted by Delhi Nation today. You can follow this story inside the Delhi Nation. And this also uh, is on the front page of the star. Is Uhuru going for Supreme Court? That's a probing question from the star. President changes his legal advisory team in, ready in readiness, I should say, for second term takeoff. Attorney General Getum Wigai out as President picks appeal court judge Kehara. Mwangi and names new nominees to Judicial Service Commission. This story continues on page four and five of his time. Let's get to hear from our panelists we have with us. As I mentioned earlier, Professor Naomi Damba, who's an expert on defense and foreign policy, also the Vice Chancellor of KC University. Also, we do have with us Ambassador Erastus Moncha, who is the former uh, African Union Deputy Chair. Also, we do have with us Dr. Mumun Zhao, who is a governor governance and security strategist. And we do have with us as well, Dr. Hassan Kanenje, who is the director of the Hone Institute. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning. All right, let's just begin with you, Erasas Moncha, looking at this particular development right now. Having an AG resigning, this has never happened in the history of this country, if uh, history may bear me well, but you can uh, stand to be corrected as well. What does it really tell us about the current administration and maybe the relationships uh, or the relationships therein when it comes to uh, you know, a seamless <coughs> running government? Well, I'm, I may not be able to comment on the current relationship, but let me say up initial that uh, I know Gith very well. <laughs> And, and therefore, I probably would be not the best person to comment because I've worked with him on Matters International on one or two programs. Uh, looking at the Constitution of Kenya, Article 156, which provides for the Office of Attorney General, yes. uh, it is very scanty. It doesn't provide mechanisms on uh, a number of aspects, for instance, how the Attorney General leaves office, mm -hmm. and even, uh, as you know, there's been quite a lot of debate in the air as to whether he should have been uh, uh, sworn in again, uh, because security of tenure is limited to uh, the current, uh, you know, positions he holds. In other words, his security of tenure doesn't transcend mm -hmm. administrations. But the fact that he was retained after having been appointed by President uh, Kibaki, yes. and he chose to leave at this point in time, is, is, is something perhaps worth looking at. What could have changed his mind? Because the president is in the, in, in the process of now making up, uh, constituting his cabinet. Mm -hmm. And since he was retained, and then chooses to live at this point in time. Mm -hmm. It must then be either a very recent development or he's been thinking about it and he came to a point he says this opportune time for now for me to quit. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I don't want to speculate as I said as somebody I know is probably better that I get it from the host. All right, but what, what sort of, uh, of vibe so to speak does it send to the public when you have such a very high office you know, him being the custodian of the constitution, defending the country. You've seen him saying that, yeah, I've been to the ICC, not really talk about or defend anyone, but just to, to put a case for Kenya as well. What does it portend for people's perception on what is going on with the government, especially with the resigning of uh, the Attorney General? Professor. <laughs> the world, um, several things, uh, I think the public, uh, in particular need to be sensitive about. Um, one is the president has uh, proposed uh, um, significant four pillars of development. Mm -hmm. And what is going to happen with those four pillars mm -hmm. and what matters the most is who surround the president mm -hmm. uh, is going to determine whether or not the president succeed on the pillars he has um, uh, enumerated. 
uh, we are aware that uh, President Kennedy in his story and recently President Obama had people in his cabinet that are not necessarily yes people, uh, but they are people of significant, uh, they are people who contributed uh, immensely for the success of those uh, two people I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, the kind of people you surround yourself with, uh, uh, in my opinion, can determine the kind of success uh, that uh, uh, the president will have in implementing his uh, proposed agenda. And my hope is that the, uh, the administration not be so consumed uh, with the question of, um, of, uh, of uh, uh, supporting friends uh, or giving rewards to friends or, or diminishing the power mm -hmm. of uh, state office. Uh, we want a law and order country. Uh, we want uh, a civil, organized, committed, uh, disciplined uh, government uh, that is going to uh, be consistent working for the people of Kenya. And therefore, one is the president has the right to appoint uh, these people who surround him closely, uh, and he has a reason why he does what he does. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, it should not be really open to too much to speculation, mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, like Ambassador say, uh, the man transcends two powers of government, and you can stop him at any time. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what is behind this kind of thing. But my reason is it better be the kind of objective that will enhance uh, us in Kenya. Right. Uh, Dr. Kanyenje, it, it appears that uh, uh, from the perception that we've had from uh, you know, the, 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 the public is that uh, also uh, Attorney General Getu Muigai was a frustrated man in this position because he was not really accorded the support that he should have been accorded. And much of his, uh, all his functions you know, uh, were a bit ceremonial. He was not given the backup. Uh, much of this was going to the solicitor, solicitor general, so to speak. So was this just maybe, uh, you know, uh, 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 taking time bomb, waiting to, uh, to, ex to explode, a tender, waiting to explode, a tender box? Dibal, you know, uh, I think in a charged political atmosphere that we live in in this country, uh, there is always a temptation to try and uh, uh, read mischief in every action or perhaps uh, read some game uh, playing uh, behind any government or position move. Now. And I agree with Professor, I wouldn't really want to speculate. Now, three possibilities, at least according to me. Either he does not share the administration's vision of the second term, or he's uncomfortable in terms of the work environment, or he's just a man who thinks he has served his country honorably and it's time to give way to someone else. And so I really wouldn't want to speculate because none of us have complete information. And in terms of working in government, uh, people are always going to be <coughs> uncomfortable at one point or another. Mm -hmm. I don't think those are normally grounds you know, to resign, especially if you're patriotic and you really love your country and you want to make a difference. But there are those who might think perhaps the forces against them, they're too powerful mm -hmm. and they're constraining the ability to be able to function effectively. But at this stage, I really wouldn't want to speculate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's hear from Dr. Mumunzao. Yeah, um, Dibal, we are uh, building a democracy. And when we are trying to you know, consolidate our democracy, uh, the best place is not to look at in terms of individuals, but rather institutions. Uh, we are trying to institutionalize our uh, national uh, processes and, and organizations and ways of doing things. And so um, it, it, it wouldn't bother me much. Um, Professor Gedu has exited in a very honorable manner. He, uh, it, it, it was uh, he, he was with the head of state right there um, and uh, the head of state accepted his resignation and um, uh, he's probably moving into other uh, you know domains uh, uh, within his career outlook so what is important is not the individual but rather the office and I think um, uh, given the kind of uh, uh, volatile situations we've had in the the general scene of uh, politics and administration, uh, he has performed pretty well. He has been able to advise government in, through very difficult times, through the Hague cases and, 
and 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 all this and i think um uh, uh, that 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 is the kind of thing we need to see with uh, building our institutions and and bettering it of course uh, there's always room for improvement and so on and i think that's the way to look at it and and, um, uh, and we should be able to consolidate our democracy going forward right so what do you think about this headline uh, is we're going for supreme court that's a problem question uh, <laughs> yeah, people are speculating and saying, oh, 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 and you guys are saying, oh, well, this, um, was, this was a statement that we shall revisit. That's so right. Was it, is it a complete overhaul? No, Dibal, what I would say is that um, in, every, in a democracy, uh, one thing that makes a liberty work is also order. You need a good balance between order and liberty. If, if liberty is left without bounds and without processes of trying to limit in a way, then, then it loses, uh, you know, it, 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 it loses uh, direction. But in the same, in the same uh, breath, uh, when a judge orders mandamus, certiorari, or, or rule of law, or, you know, uh, habeas corpus, bring the, produce the suspect in court in 24 hours, dead or alive, that is a judge making an order to protect a citizen from, uh, from the excesses of the executive. And, and what we have is democratic space here. And we have to respect that. We don't have to read that way each time that uh, the executive is doing its part, the, the courts are doing their part, and then we all uh, then construe that to be uh, a tug of war or one is interfering with the other. That is just the doctrines of checks and balances, balance of power uh, at play. And, and, and that is the way to look at it. We have a lot of democratic space. We have to temper it with order and let every institution be given its leeway. All right. Also, there's a probing question uh, of why, or maybe a suggestion on why uh, Githu had to go. This is on the People Daily. Uh, why Githu had to go? Supreme Court ruling that overturned Uhuru's election victory in August may have left fingerprints of omission by AG's office. And that is what uh, is here on the front page of the People Daily this morning. Uh, you can also follow that which is fully tucked away, the comprehensive story on page six of the People Daily today. I can see Professor Norma Midama <laughs> wants to chime in on this as well. Uh, uh, Dubal, uh, we cannot pretend to be a democratic country uh, if we do not follow democratic principle. Uh, Dr. Misao uh, enumerated a few minutes ago uh, about check and balance. Uh, legislative, executive, and judiciary have got to balance each other in a democratic country. Uh, government of the people, for the people, and by the people. And the point is, is sometimes I hear some really erroneous uh, pronouncement. Uh, we are going to go after you. We're going to destroy you. You know, these are nonsense uh, in a democratic society. Uh, we are a government of law and order. And, and, and therefore, legislative uh, folks cannot intrude uh, in, the, uh, in the judicial mm -hmm. role, uh, or uh, the executive cannot intrude in the judicial role for us to really have a balanced country. Mm -hmm. And therefore, people need to uh, uh, step back and, uh, and, and look at and, and really ask a question, where do we want to go as a country? Mm -hmm. That is. That is the question of the moment, and uh, that's what the, uh, the administration need to be really consistent about, and also the legislative need to do the same. All right. Uh, Mwanchi, you want to comment? No, I think uh, the matter has been uh, ably covered, covered by my fellow panelists. You, you know, we live in a society that is, uh, with social media, full of speculation. Uh, the second point is that we also live in a society, unfortunately, where honor of exit is, is not a norm. Uh, unless people say, you know, are being sacked or pressured to leave, uh, people then read a lot of things which may not be true. I mean, as it has been said, he could be moving on to something else. Probably could have had shared conscience that uh, felt that he's not serving, you know, in, 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 to his likes uh, and so i hate to kind of read somebody's mind when you are not privy to certain uh, facts and which perhaps i'm able to access 
And therefore, that's why I think it's always good to be cautious when commenting on such a matter when you could say something in public which is not true. Right. You're watching Standing on Guard here on AM Live, and we continue with the conversation with our panelists that I've created first time this morning with Professor Naomi Damba, who's the Vice Chancellor of Casey University, also an expert on defense and foreign policy. We have uh, with us as well Balozi uh, Rasas Moencha, who is a former Deputy Chair of the African Union. Also, we do have with us Dr. Mumun Zhao, a governance and security strategist. Also, we do have with us as well Dr. Hassan Kanenje, who is a director at the Horn Institute. Gentlemen, let's continue with the conversation. I think uh, we've wrapped up, unless you have anything to say on the new appointments uh, so far. And, uh, of course, the Office of the Attorney General. Right. Let, let, let me make an adage, uh, Dibal. Just adage. one adage. Yes, please. In, in, the, in the 30s, uh, the United States uh, and the rest of Western, you know, Western Europe, North America, experienced the Depression. You remember the Great Depression of the 1930s. Mm -hmm. and the person who was very instrumental in pulling out the United States out of the Depression was President Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. And he came up with what he called his New Deal. And it's something... Uh, you know, every head of state would like to come up with a formula, like the way President Uhuru has come up with his four, uh, you know, the, 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 the big the, four the, agenda. The big four agenda. Mm -hmm. And, and um, what President Roosevelt did was that traditionally it was said that there was a dichotomy between administration and politics. Mm -hmm. But Roosevelt worked with people he wanted, who believed in his agenda. Mm -hmm. And they closed that gap in ways through which uh, this, the public servants involved were able to move his agenda, the New Deal, mm. putting money in people's pocket and getting America out of the Depression. And, and, if, and if there's a lot of sincerity uh, in the kind of moves that uh, are being made, uh, the head of state is, is, is on course with it. I think it's a good thing. Um, he, he needs to be allowed to work with people. He has full trust, people who believe in his vision. And they can move it. And I'm not talking about that Professor was not <laughs> in the, in the, carrying his vision. But what I'm saying is that uh, the kind of moves he's making, let's give him leeway between now and 2022 and see if he's able to, uh, to, to push through the agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's, that's, that, that, that sounds quite transformative. And uh, I think there's, 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 there's room for that. And uh, I think uh, given a chance, um, his uh, bureaucratic machine can 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 make a, a difference